welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland. It's Fiona here and this is my keto and intermittent fast. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've done this introduction four times now and I keep getting it wrong. Right, I'm going to get it right this time. This is my keto and intermittent fasting life versus chronic pain update week six. Yay! Got there! <laughs> I hope you're all doing well and if there's any noise I've got the three dogs surrounding me so they may be coming and going. Oh, I thought that was Molly there, it's the arm of my wheelchair. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a weird mood today, can you tell? Right, this week has been testing in a few ways. Um, the weekend, as you may know, we were up at Glam's Castle in the caravan for the Canny Cross and it was a little bit difficult because Abby, not Abby, she wasn't even there. Jack and Brooke were eating homemade tonic tea cake tablet, which looked amazing, as well as Malteser cake and all sorts of other yummy homemade goodness. But I resisted. It was tough. I have to say it was tough. Um, but I did it. And then the rest of the week when I got home, I was actually very hungry this week. And I know the reason for it. It was because I did something a bit different with my intermittent fasting. I'm not going to go into that in this video, but I will be bringing a video out at the start of next week. Hopefully Monday, internet dependent, um, about what was different with my intermittent fasting this week. However, it did make me really, really hungry. And... It wasn't a problem, I just ate. I'm good at listening to my body now and if I'm hungry, I eat. As long as I keep my carbs below 20 grams, that's all I'm worrying about just now. And I got through it. It was just really strange because it's the first time that I've really felt hunger since um, probably a couple of weeks into my keto journey. Um, but yeah, I got through it. It was a wee bit harder, but we got there. And I also didn't get my shopping delivered until Tuesday night. Now, we were home Monday night and I had planned to get the shopping delivered on Monday night. I had it all booked and ordered. And then we got an email on the Sunday morning saying there had been a problem with the payment and the order had been cancelled. Ah! <laughs> and yes, there had been a problem with the, the payment because I didn't have enough money in my bank. <laughs> Oops. Um, but we got that sorted out, Jack put more money in my bank and I reordered, but I couldn't get the same slot. So I didn't get my shopping delivered until Tuesday night. So when we got home on Monday night, Jack and Brooke tucked into a lovely big kebab, whereas Abby was at a youth cafe, so she had something to eat there. And I just had to make do with what I had, so I made some scrambled egg. <laughs> and then on Tuesday... I basically just had my coffee to break my fast and then I had some cheese that I had lying about the fridge. I think it was just about in date uh, to tide me over until the shopping came. But I managed. You know, these things happen, don't they? Um, and the rest of the food that I've ate this week, I've really enjoyed. I'm still loving my veg, um, covered in lovely yummy butter or garlic olive oil or fried in coconut oil. Um and I'm being very cautious with my protein. I have to say, I have been lazy again. Um, since probably the first couple of weeks, I've not been weighing and measuring. I, I've kind of been doing lazy keto in that I know that I've been under 20 grams of carbs every day and I've roughly been counting in my head how much fat and protein I think I'm having but I'm not actually weighing it properly and tracking it properly. Um, and I was thinking this week that that might start to become a problem and I might have to go back to weighing and measuring everything. But I thought I would wait and see what today's result was and then decide what I was going to do. Um, I didn't really feel like I'd lost much weight this week for some reason. I don't know why. I just didn't. Um, I don't know if it was because I have eaten more um, and I did eat more over the weekend as well when I was away. Again, all keto food, but I think it was maybe psychologically I thought I've eaten more this week, I'm not going to lose weight. Um, but 
as we all know, this isn't just about weight loss, this journey, it's about my chronic pain and trying to make myself healthier in every way that the keto diet is meant to help. Pain-wise, I am definitely seeing an improvement. Definitely. I'm nowhere near as sore constantly as I was before. I am still getting really bad bouts of pain and... I am still grouchy with it, shall we say? Or maybe I'm just a grouch, I don't know. Um, probably Jack would say I would and the kids. But I'm definitely getting a lot longer without such severe pain. I'm never pain free. I don't think I'll ever be pain free again. I'm, I've kind of resigned myself to that fact. But the pain's going down to about a 5 out of 10, I would say, which is really good compared to the last few months so I definitely do think that's helping is it the keto diet I think it must be to be fair because I've not done anything else different and the pain was getting worse and worse every month and now it's getting better every week so the only change that I have made is changing my way of eating to the ketogenic diet and that is really what I did the experiment for because there's not a lot of research out there but there is some to say that as well as the neurological um, help that it gives people with epilepsy that it can also help chronic neurological pain as well so it looks like there could be something in it I'm keeping everything crossed um, I don't want to jinx it I don't want to go back to being in pain again but yeah, I'm being quietly optimistic, I think. Energy-wise, I felt better this week. I've managed to work out twice, which is good. I've done two chair workouts at home from YouTube and really enjoyed them. And when I was in the caravan, my energy levels weren't too bad as well. So definitely an improvement there. Sleep-wise, it's brilliant. I am loving getting more sleep. And... I think that's a mixture of the keto diet and the magnesium that I'm taking at night because that is supposed to help with um, sleep as well. Um, yeah, so I think the keto diet is definitely helping me with my pain, with my energy, with my sleep. My mood has been much better this week, probably because all of the other things have been better. I think it's maybe a knock-on effect. And I'm due for a review, a medication review with the doctor in a couple of months and I'm thinking about asking if we can maybe reduce my antidepressant dosage. If my mood is, keeps improving the way that it has been, I think I definitely will um, speak to the doctor about that and see if we can get it reduced. But I'm not going to count my chickens, I'm going to wait until that time comes and then I'll make the decision. But I thought I would let you know that I am starting to think about it. Right, so that's all the other factors. What about my weight? Like I said, I wasn't sure if I had lost anything this week or not. So, I stepped on the scales, as we say. Last week, I was 134.8. This week, I was 132.8, which means two things. Well, three things. First of all, I did lose weight, woohoo! Second of all, I lost two pounds this week. And third of all, I've hit my target! Yay! As you may know, I had an, I'd set myself an interim target of 133 pounds, which is nine and a half stone. And I'm just under that, so I am so, so pleased. I know this journey isn't about the weight loss specifically, but... It seems like forever that I've been trying to get to this target weight. Um, I can't remember my starting weight back in August last year when I started vlogging this journey on Slimming World. But I've lost, I think, about half a stone now since um, starting the keto diet. And it has finally got me to my target weight. Now, am I going to change anything? No, because it was just an interim goal. If I go lower, I'll be happy. I don't really go by BMI, but 
the BMI tracker on my scales app is saying that I'm still chubby. I'm not sure what the what my actual BMI should be. I think it's at the moment it's 24.4 or something. But I don't believe in the BMI anyway. I think it's a very, very outdated system. Um, but I do feel that if my body wants to go lower, I'm happy to let it go lower. I'm still not 100% happy with my body, but I never will be now. Um, probably thanks to the wheelchair, the illness, blah, blah, blah. Um, and the mum tum. I've got a mum tum. I've had two kids and I'm never going to get rid of that. Um, a lot of it is sort of loose skin as well. And it's quite annoying. I wish I had been doing the intermittent fasting all the way through my um, weight loss journey because I do believe the autophagy in that can help with the loose skin but we'll just wait and see what happens and um, although I'm not 100% happy with my body I'm accepting of my body now which is a very freeing feeling and um, yeah so I am very very happy I've not got anything major coming up this week that's going to throw me off track we're going shopping tomorrow um, which is Saturday, so I'll make sure that I've got everything in the house that I need. I'm not going to have to resort to scrambled egg and cheese, um, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with. I do enjoy that. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else I've got to tell you. No, I have got my first um, keto review bar filmed and uploaded and ready to go live. So I might put that up now. So that will probably be up before you see this um, because I managed to get that uploaded when I was out last night whereas for this video I'm going to have to rely on my home internet which can take hours and will probably have to be done overnight unfortunately but that's the situation I'm at and on Monday like I said I'm going to do another little video about intermittent fasting and what I've done different this week and how it's affected me so look out for that on Monday but in the meantime, I hope you're all doing very well. I would love it if you would comment below and let me know how you're doing. And please subscribe if you've not already. Hit the wee thumbs up button. And remember to ring the wee bell because that way you'll get notified every time I put a video up. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and the other thing is I am starting to become more active over on Instagram again at our underscore crazy like I'll put it up on the bottom of the screen because <laughs> I can't remember it and um, but I am going to become more active on there again I think I hope don't hold me to it because I'm rubbish with Instagram right I'm going to go now everybody and I'll see you later I'm up target yeah 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 bye